It's Sunday, so it's Sunday Fun Day. Sunday Fun Day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sight. How the devil are you? Today we have got a very, very strange one. A strange one indeed. This channel was called Chod Munch. <laughs> Go to the channel, subscribe, and do the thing, okay? The video is called Strange People. Crazy eating habits. Now look. I'm 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 quite proud to say that I'll pretty much I'll eat anything. Okay? As long as I, I'm not too I'm not too keen on things which are living, you know? Like it it's there wobbling around, you're gonna eat it. Like the, the only living thing I've done like eaten is uh an oyster, okay? As long as it's dead, I'll probably eat it. Unless it's, I don't know, like cow balls and things like that, like testicles. I'm not too sure, you know. And then there's like brains and stuff you can eat. I don't know about that. Like normal food you get in the supermarket, I'll eat anything, okay? Now these people go to another level, mate, all right? They barely rambo it. So let's go and see what these people like to eat on their, on their everyday lives, okay? Without further ado, do I diddly day. Let's do this. Come on, strange people. My name is Jennifer, <laughs> and I'm addicted to eating mattresses. Mattresses? I like my mattress plain. Maximum fan, please! Jesus Christ, mate. She must have been in the UK a couple of days ago. A half painted ceiling as well. Yeah, straight up. I know mayonnaise, butter, <laughs> none of that. I've eaten couches, box springs, chairs. Mate, I had a hamster that used to do that shit. Like, what's going on here, man? You've eaten years, but for the last 10 years, mattresses has just been my thing. Oh, that's my delicacy. Oh, when you when you show me a little bit of mattress, I can't resist. Stuff to me is the <laughs> pillow top itself. Then I go down. To D what happens when you t invite her around the house? Hey, Susan, uh, where's your toilet? Upstairs to the left. Don't go in the fucking bedroom. I've just bought the bloody bed. I cut it. After that, I just start ripping it as I go. I get to a piece. Oh yeah, that looks lovely and spongy. Uh, They're like not not even little bits, not even little nuggets. The whole fucking thing, a big handful. Oh. They're sex. I would want some. <laughs> I have seen it. I was just gonna say, when you take a shit, does your shit float? In the toilet. It comes out in whole pieces. It was all the sponge that I was eating. I was like, it clogged up the toilet like it's just sitting there. If I was that desperate to get it out, I could take it and wash it. Do everything. No, and don't eat it again, mate. Please don't say you eat it again. I did to it, and I could use it again if I wanted. No, you're eating your shit, love. I don't care if it's spongy and light and fluffy. You're eating your shit. If I was that desperate, ain't that? I mean, ain't that strange? If you were that desperate, what? Like you've run out of fucking bed? I'm having sulfur burps. Sulfur burps. Okay. Yeah, like a. Fart in my mouth. I thought she said sofa burps. Hang on, you fart in your. Uh, isn't that just a burp? Isn't farting in your mouth a burp? Okay. I'm 19 years old, and I love eating soap. But this eating one is what? the best one. It kind of reminds so me of like a Parmesan cheese. It's like a drug. I just feel. Oh fucking hell, man! I bet she's never swore or said a bad word in her life. Because my granny, if I swore, my granny used to be like, go in the bathroom and clean your mouth out with bloody soap now. Oh, I used to be horrible, mate. I only did it once. So good when I... It didn't fucking work, though, did it? <laughs> I'm addicted to it. it what so are you amazing. doing? Oh, no, a smoothie. Mm. I eat at least two bars of soap a day. These are all of my soaps. I look at the soap like kids because it's like I'm the mommy and I don't have a favorite. Like I love you and I love you and I love you and I love you. When she eats dove, does she like, oh my God, I'm, eat I'm eating a bird. See how it turns into like little flakes? Yeah. Pop it in. She would never have bad breath, mate. And apparently, I actually, one of my mates who's South African, okay, he used to, he had the whitest teeth ever. And I was like, mate, like, how are your teeth so white? He says, Bru. He brushes his teeth with bar soap. And that's how his teeth are so white. I don't know if it's true. There you go. I need a moment of silence. 
My name's Teresa. I'm 44 years old. I don't say you eat dogs. I live in Bedford, Virginia. Pretty day today. And I'm addicted to eating rocks. Rocks! Oh my fucking God, mate. How has she got teeth? I don't think I would be able to function every day if I didn't eat some quantity of rock. I wonder if there's different flavors to s different rocks and stuff. Is there? Teresa has been Listen addicted to, it, to eating rocks for more than 20 years. I was just out walking one day. I wonder if she goes to the doctors and say, doctor, I think I've got stones. Let's <laughs> carry on. I had no attention of biting into it or chewing it, but I did, and once I did that, I was hooked on them. Now, Teresa can't go more than a few hours without eating rocks. Look at the size of that thing, mate. Oh, my she God. She uses a hammer to break them up into bite-sized pieces. This is about the size I like it because um, it's not as hard to swallow. I would normally take a piece like this and normally just put it in my mouth or bite on it or just put the whole piece in my mouth and... Oh, no! And suck it. You're sucking that, aren't you? And get... Oh, I fucking love that. I love sucking rocks. <laughs> the earthy taste off of it. Yeah, like a dog's just fucking pissed all over it. This woman Christ. is eating herself out of house and home. It's almost like a treat coming here, like a sweet shop. Qu no, it's your fucking house you're eating. You're eating your You're literally eating yourself out of house and home. <laughs> Quite literally. Happy. What? It's like succulent. Imagine renting your house out and she's the tenant. Right? Five years later, you come back. Oh, you want to move out? Okay, yeah. Let, hey, give us the keys. Where's my fucking house gone? Sorry, I've eaten it. So most days, I eat brick. Different walls have... <laughs> Shit, a brick! <laughs> different tastes. And I have preferences as to which walls I prefer to eat. It's meant to go in my mouth. Just like any other food. This one almost tastes like crushed tablets. Because it's got like a bitter taste. In 15 oh years, Patrice has consumed a ton of brick and plaster. What about asbestos, mate? You gotta be careful what you're eating, love, you know? Watch out for asbestos. What was I saying? She's eating fucking walls. I don't particularly like the brick in the house I'm living in at the moment. So I tend to go to my grandmother's house. At the moment, the house. Did you hear that? I'm living at the moment. So how many houses has she gone through? This is, this is literally like Pac-Man. House and dig out her brick. Pac-Man eats fruit, whatever. What's the other ones that eat house? Is there anything that eats houses? Yeah, her. I the old type of brick. It's more crunchier and I enjoy the flavor better. Every week, Patrice makes a two hour round trip to her grandma's house to stock up on her favorite walls. So she eats her grandma out of house and home as well. She eats her grandma's house. Casey initially Fuck found comfort by having her husband's ashes at her side. Don't say you're eating your husband, mate. And that's not a sexual thing. Do not eat your husband. Please. What if you run out? Are you going to marry somebody else? Hang on. Just, just, just hear it out, Ben. Her addiction has recently evolved. Uh, I have something to tell you, Stephanie. Oh, no. I don't want you to freak out. You know, I carry around Sean everywhere. Um, I've been eating his ashes. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Only in America, baby! Only in America! Oh, no! And then you shit him out, don't you? Huh? You shit him out in the toilet. That's what you call scattering the ashes, mate. Is, is she going to be understanding? Like, he'll always be a part of me mm -hmm. because... No, he's not. He's going into your ass. Right. I'm eating him, you know? Yeah, but I don't know what to think about that. With the trans... This is gonna be a fucking joke. This has to be a joke. You're eating your dead husband. Literally, the man... She is literally a man-eater. Fur of his cremains. You know, some got into the cardboard box as well. Um, so I just licked it off my fingers. I'm eating my husband. First I lick my finger, and I don't just dip it in. I swirl around to kind of feel and get it caked on there good. What, feel for the penis? What, what are you doing? 
and then I just eat it. Oh no. What what was going through your head when you first had the box in front of you and you went Hey, what am I doing? It tastes like rotten eggs, sand and sandpaper. My name is Robert, I'm 23. I live with my fiance and I'm addicted to eating plastic bags. Man, this must be maximum anxiety problems or something like this. Like, joking aside, this must be maximum anxiety. When you've got to start eating... Like, and this is costing now, because bags aren't 5p anymore. Like, they're like 25p. So how many bags are you going through a week, mate? My favourite bags are the, the bags off the newspaper. I start off my day by eating a whole bag. The first taste of that plastic in the morning is the best part of my day. This right here is my favorite because... It's chewy. Yeah, clearly, it's plastic, mate. It's malleable, and it's just delicious. Picky rapper Hunna Gundy suffers from a rare eating disorder, which makes him crave... Well, clearly, it's not that fucking rare. ...bricks, mud, and gravel. The 30-year-old from Karnataka, India, has been consuming the unusual diet since he was ten. Oh my god, mate. It looks like he's turning into the bloody fly or something. It's like bloody um, Jeff Goldblum the fly, mate. Look at you! Hunagundi claims to consume around one brick a day, as well as eating up to two kilos of mud and gravel. Friends and family now want him to stop the habit. Now want him as opposed to before when they first saw him. Like, it's been a few years, so now we're asking him to stop. For the good of his health, Hunagundi is adamant he will continue. I might try it just once to see what the big fuss is all about. No, because then I could get addicted and I don't want to do that. I'm gonna, no, I'm not going to. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't eat bricks or anything other than normal food, please. My name is Nicole. I'm 26 years old and I'm addicted to eating drywall. I am literally This seems eating. like it's a, a, that they should have their own Facebook club or something. In my house. Nicole has been addicted to eating drywall for over seven years. I switched from chalk to drywall because drywall tastes better than chalk to me. I would imagine that chalk tastes better than drywall. Is it just me or is it the paper on the drywall? That's what gives you the added flavor. Nicole ingests drywall up to six times a day. I oh love God. the smell of drywall, the texture of it, the taste. I love everything about drywall. Look at the fucking great holes in these people's houses, mate. Look at strategically going around the electric box. So this is it. This is that little problem you're Yeah, that's about. my the little hole I've been telling. Oh, yeah, so how the heck that happened? Well, for the past seven years, I have been eating drywall. Like, where did that stunt eating stem drywall? from? Eating drywall? Are you serious? Yes. This is not some kind of joke. No joke. We've got to get you to see a doctor. And I'm with you, as always, on everything. We know we're going to get past it. Oh. Now, I don't know if y'all remember this, but there was a woman who ate cigarette ashes. No. Y'all remember her? Yeah, y'all yeah, watch the tire show, y'all. Like, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and do you remember that she loved them so much that she would use them as an ice cream topping? Somebody's what? repeating my, like, <laughs> saying it before I even say it. Oh, my God. Kirsten is a school teacher who has a craving that started in the classroom. The secret is I like to eat chalk dust. Not just, not biting the chalk, but I like for it to be crunched up. Right. So let's get the smaller piece. If we can push it on up. Okay, this is a good little amount. I scoop it up on my finger and I lick it off my finger. I've never told. Yeah, no, I've, do you know what? I've got a feeling that what it is, she got caught out sniffing something else, mate. 
He said, no, no, mum, honestly, it's, uh, it's chalk. Are you sure? Why is it all over your mouth and up your nose? Uh, 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 I'm addicted to chalk, mum. I'm addicted to chalk. Just to keep that bloody lie, she's now eating bloody chalk. I told anyone, not even my husband or my family, I've always kept it a... You, you got a chalk had it, yeah, all right. ...secret because I was very ashamed of it, and I thought people would judge me and think that I'm crazy, and I'm very... I'm educated, I'm smart, so I never understood what the cravings were, and I knew... I tried to just control it. I never even told my, I have, I'm pregnant, I have a midwife. And I wasn't completely honest with them about my... Uh, Chalk addiction. Uh, my cravings. <laughs> Lanika's odd eating habits have become life-threatening. I have to carry this bag around because it has all my belongings in it. And one of my belongings is toilet paper. I have to show you, Tara. <laughs> This is what I chew on. <laughs> Could you not find a smaller roll or is it you literally go through that roll in a day? You carry that shit around with you, mate, literally. Like this whole roll will probably be gone in less than two weeks. And this is how I consume it. Why? Then once that's done, I close my bag back up. <laughs> this is absolutely bloody crazy, mate. This is crazy. It's just, it's just a habit. It's a bad habit. It's got to be some sort of, it's got to be something going on wrong up there. Get the merch at kespersite.com. Just Rambo it. Well, there you go, mate. Strange people. Crazy eating habits. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a little like. If you're new to the channel, how about subscribing? And um, I'm just going to go and eat some uh, uh, some bubble wrap now, okay? See, I'm not really. I'm, I'm joking. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.